Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be covering the walkthrough of the assignment called UNC Colony of the Dead. This assignment is obtained in one of two ways. First, we can find a server node near the shuttle bay door controls in the room where you cut off the arm of the Geth ship on Pharos. Hacking this server node will add the assignment to your journal. However, it will appear under the name Investigate Samples until you land on the planet Chaska in the Matano system. The second way to obtain the assignment is by simply visiting the planet Chaska and exploring. We can reach the Matano system by heading to the Maroon Sea located here. Although keep in mind that you won't be able to locate the Maroon Sea until you've finished the main mission on Pharos. Inti is the first planet of the Matano system and has nothing to survey. Apo is the third planet of the system and also has nothing to survey. A metallic asteroid is located here. We can survey it to receive a heavy metal. Illipa is the fourth planet of the Matano system and also has nothing for us to survey. Supe is the fifth planet of the system and finally has a light metal when surveyed. There is actually a second asteroid to discover to the left of Apo. When we survey it, we receive a Prothean data disk. Chaska is the second planet of the Matano system and where our assignment takes place, so let's go ahead and land to explore. Taking a look at the map, we see several marked locations, an anomaly, some debris, and some locations relevant to the assignment. Before we visit these locations, we're going to fully explore the planet, and we'll start by going northwest of our landing location to find an unmarked mineral deposit. From this rare earth deposit, we'll head directly south of this location to another mineral deposit. From this heavy metal deposit, we're going to head far to the south to find a third mineral deposit.
From this final mineral deposit containing a light metal, we'll check out this first civilian structure nearby. He must have been transformed. There's only these three husks outside, but there are many more inside, along with a bunch of loot. Before we check out the other assignment-related structures, let's find this anomaly. Now, to find out what this debris is. Finally, we'll finish what we really came here for, 
let's explore the final two structures, starting with the second civilian structure. There are no husks outside this structure, unlike the first one. However, the dragon's teeth located behind the building are a telling sign that we may have a fight ahead of us, so let's head inside. Got it. Finally, we'll check out the science facility. This location is like the first, with husks outside the facility and plenty more within. Commander.
colonial pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. Thank you very much for watching. Activating this terminal concludes the Colony of the Dead assignment. Hopefully something about this was helpful, as it is a pretty straightforward assignment. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, leave a comment if you have something to add or just wanted to say hi, and as always, stay safe.